Hi, my name is Rebecca and welcome to Yarn and Pajamas. Today is crochet podcast number 66. So I do have some finished objects to show you guys this week and I'm pretty excited about that. Got a couple whips and some acquisitions, yes. So let's just get started. So the first thing I finished is my mushroom bag. And here it is, and all of its glory. I do have it stuffed with um, like something to fill it with. Just trying to hold the handles, get the handles up for you guys. So the lid lifts up like this and falls to the side and it's got some drawstring here that you can pull to close it and let me just take out all this stuff. I stuffed it with um, paper and um, bags so that I could take a picture of it. Here's the inside. I do have the little disc to go on the inside here. I did, um, because it was so big, I did end up undoing one row Done one, undone one row of the, I'm sorry, my nephew is FaceTiming me, and one row of the red and one row of the cream, undone them, and then cut the circle down a little bit. And another thing I did, because I could not get that liner thing to work out, is I crocheted, I crocheted this one, and it is single crochets in a continuous circle and then I used the I used the original um one that I had made that had like the line up the back and put it on the inside so I think that it'll be pretty good about like not letting stuff slip through um but it's all finished and I'm pretty excited so let's get the top back down it is big enough to go over as a a side satchel, but there it is. Um, on the strap, I did remake the strap because um, I had tried to sew the the ribbon on, and it just looked horrid. <laughs> so, um, but I was running out of the white, the ivory, so I put a stripe of red in the middle, and then then. A stripe of white, red, and then white. But I used um, Hobby Lobby's I Love This Cotton for this um, in red and ivory. I used um, one and a half skeins of the red and two skeins of the white. But, you know, I made additional parts because on the inside of this, I did put, make another mushroom cap and put on the inside of it to make it a little bit stronger and sturdier and I use a 4.5 hook I figure it'll stand up a lot better when there's stuff inside of it okay so the next thing that I got finished was and I forgot to bring the book with me but it was from this Amigurumi Christmas um, book I'll pop in a picture and it's a um, snowman. Now you might be asking yourself, Rebecca, that snowman is brown. Why is that snowman brown? Because it's not a snowman. It's a, a mud man. He is made of mud. So I made him for a friend of mine and she asked me if I could make a snowman but make it a muddy color because where she lives, she doesn't get snow but she has a lot of mud so so she wanted him he does not unfortunately like set up on his own he is a wibbly wobbly on the bottom i probably i didn't really think about that when i was stuffing him otherwise i would have probably just cut and put a little bit of cardboard in there but i didn't think about it so he'll have to be leaned up against something or have him a little stand of some sort but I used um, paint box cotton DK and I'm thinking a three millimeter hook. 
Yeah, that's been saying real fast. I'm sorry. I should have. 3.5 millimeter hook on him. So I used paint box cotton. This um, green color is called grass green. The blue is called marine blue. The brown is called soft fudge. And then this orange is a DMC baby cotton and it's called orange. And these are all like scrap balls that I had left over from my um, 3D Granny Squares blanket last year that I made. And I still have scraps left over from all of these colors. But I got him all finished. He's got 10 millimeter safety eyes in there. My mom says he looks like a bird and not a snowman. I think he looks like a nice little mud man though. So what do you guys think? All right, so I got him finished and he is also a Stitch Your, Your Library project because I made him out of my Amber Groomy Christmas book that um, I realized that I had a pattern for a snowman when I was doing the Amber Groomy book tag that Chris Watt Chronically Crocheting started. And um, I realized that I had a snowman pattern because I was looking for a snowman pattern to make that snowman pattern. And I was like, I have one right here and it's already bought and paid for by me. So this is the one I'm gonna use. So I got that all finished. So that's all of the finished stuff that I have to show you, but I do have some works in progress that I've been diligently working on. I have first here in a little tea dottles bag. It's got little chickens on it and watering cans. I am making a gnome. And this gnome is, it's actually a crochet along. I've heard about it from Juliet KS Mom Crochets and her podcast, but she um, was talking about it. And the gnome along is hosted by Passionate Crafter. And of course, I'll put all the links down below so that you'll have an easy time finding anything or anybody if you want to. Um, so she's hosting a crochet along where there's going to be one to possibly two um, gnomes per month um, for the whole year. So the first one for January is a snowflake gnome. So I decided to start on him. And here's what I've gotten done. So I am doing things a little bit different. And it's only because I know what I like. And I like the pan piano bodies for the gnomes. I have made other bodies. I've made one by Happy Dolls Handmade and whatever the ice cream, I can't remember who that was, but I made her body type for the ice cream gnome. And I just love the look of this one. I like how it works up. I have all of her body parts, like the patterns stored in my head so I can just do it. But I done her nose, her body, and her arms and hands. And I've got a little gnome bud in there. And he sits nice and flat and stuff. So, yeah. So the hat essentially is what I'm making. That is from the Passionate Crafter. But the hat is where it's at, guys. On a gnome, the hat is the star of the show. So, so yeah. So I used Chepier's Katona Cotton and a 2.20 millimeter hook. This color is Shell. This color is Bluebell. And this color is Powder Blue. It doesn't really look powder blue, but that's what it says it is. And I am started on the hat. You try to not pull any stitches out here. I've not gotten too, too far. I did start working on it today, but I didn't get very far in it because my nephew called and I talked to him a couple times. And it's like one that you gotta, 
you know, you got to pay attention to. So, so it's just like the tiny sort of a tip of a hat for the gnome. So, yeah. I thought that I would make the body first um, because since I'm doing a different body to see how well the hat fits on this body. I know that the nose is bigger than the nose for the Passionate Crafter gnome. So, yeah. But that's what I've got going on here. And I like, I like Julie. Don't know if I'm going to do every gnome that she does um, this year. Um, in a perfect world, I would love to say, yes, I'm going to do every gnome that she does all year long. But this is a, a free crochet year where I'm just going to float wherever the wind takes me and work on the things that bring me joy and bring me pleasure. So, yeah. And then the last thing I've been working on is that corner-to-corner -corner blanket that I was using the uh, Yarn Bees. What's that called? Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel. Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel and the colorway sprinkles on top. And here is what I've gotten done of it. So the little yellow bobble is where I was the last time. And then here is where I'm at now. So this is one whole skein. See, there's my tail. So I did finish putting the skein in. Um, and I think it's working up pretty cute. It's got some pretty colors in it. Um, it is very addictive to work on the corner to corner. I'm really liking it. And I'm using a, I believe a five millimeter hook. Yes. And it is living here in a tea dottles tote bag. I believe I got this in a, um, maker club. I think it was the first micro club of the year last year and I love it because the bottom is like that corduroy it feels so good so that is what I've been working on guys it has been a lot of fun I've done a lot of crocheting this week I'm pretty proud of myself that I have done some crocheting so, the next thing we're going to hop to is some acquisitions, and I have bought some stuff, and actually it was like two books. The first book that I'm going to show you is I actually bought it on the Kindle because it was only $2.99, and I thought, let's go ahead and get it because it's only $2.99 on the Kindle. So, let me pull it up here, and I'll show you what I got. I got Edward's Menagerie. So cool. So, I seen um, that Juliet K.S. Mom crochets. She has um, this book. She has the physical book of it, though. And um, she had made the flamingo but i want to make this toucan up here i really like toucans i love their beaks toucans are awesome so there's like a video on i think it's the dodo um where this lady like rescued a toucan and i just love watching that video i've seen it like a million times i should know like their names by now as many times as i've seen it but I love watching that video. So I couldn't pass this up when I was perusing around on um, Amazon looking for uh, this list of books that I decided I wanted because other people had them and they looked cool. So this book is by Carrie Lord. So if you don't mind having like a digital version of a book, which I do not mind, it's only $2.99 on Amazon. And the other book that I got, I could not resist, is this Amigurumi Treasures Tomb. So, my um, Sleepy Pig right here, that's, I think her name is Daisy May. I call her Sleepy Pig. 
she is made from the first book. Now, I didn't make my Sleepy Pig. Um, Julie at KS Mom Crochets. <laughs> I can't do that. Made it. Um, and she gifted it to me. But when she um, showed this book right here, I just fell in love with this bear. I love like how they do the bows and stuff. Um, so look at this one. Isn't that not cute as a button? Um, I really want to make like this is I don't know, even know what that is, but it's cute as a bug. Uh hopu. Oh, pal. I don't even know. There are a lot of cute ones in here. I believe that Julie has made this one. I'm not sure. I feel like somebody made that one. Oh, here's a little dragon. Ain't he cute? So, there's a lot of cute books in here. I originally seen um, this author, Arena Lee, on Instagram. And I saw her Sleepy Pig post, and I was like, I have to have that, and I, that's why I purchased the book, so I had to get her second book. So, those are the acquisitions that I have for the week, nothing, nothing else, but I do have some show and tell, so let me bring up my notes here so that I can... Um, tell you guys and let me scooch over so I have enough room to put some pictures in but the first um, pictures that I have are from Manga Mama and um, she too um, is uh, learning the corner to corner stitch it's new to her and she made this hat and scarf set super cute she said that most of her patterns either come from bag of day fiber, either fiber, fi fiber spider or fiber floozy. I can't remember what she said. Um, or just her own brain. So she also has, um, this purple hat. I'm sorry, I moved you, but I need to take a drink of something. My throat is tickling. This purple hat, it's like one of those cool ones, you know, that goes all the way down with the pom-pom on the bottom. And this blue hat, which is pretty cool. I just love a good hat, right? And this purple hat. So those were pretty cool. Thank you very much, Manga Mama, for sharing your makes with us this week. I really enjoyed seeing them. So the next person is Amanda. And funny story, me and Amanda sorta kinda know each other. Well, we have one friend in common, and that friend is Danette, but um, she knows Danette, and and of course, I know Danette, but I've heard Danette speak about her, like, throughout the years, so it's like, I kind of know her, because Danette talks about her, but I had never met her or anything like that, and then um, Danette told her about my channel, and she started watching, and we started emailing, so we're becoming fast friends, yay. But she sh shared some of her makes with us. And the first ones are these towel rings. Now, these are pretty cool. And the pattern is by Nastasia. And she used Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in the color Hot Sauce. And um, these are pretty cool because I made some of these a couple years ago when I was selling stuff at like a farmer's market. This was pre-YouTube. But I made a couple of these, and um, they work up super fast. And I used, because there's like a ring in the middle, and I used these bracelets that I found at like the Dollar Tree. They were like just plastic bracelets, and there were like six of them for like a buck. So, so this is good for people who don't want to um, crochet the towel toppers onto the actual towel. You can make these rings and just slide your towel through. She also made the uh, ribbed pom-pom hat by Mary Stevens. Um, I believe she says she got the pattern from Ravelry. And the pattern is in UK terms. 
but um, she used for the white and the gray hat. She used a line brand Pound of Love. And for the pink hat, it is a Bernat Super Value and Baby Pink. And I believe that the pom-poms are like those furry pom-poms, but those are so cute. So thank you so much, Amanda, for sharing with us. Um, I really love your hats and I love those towel topper rings. Those are just so cool. And then the last one is Lori. And she was the December Gnome Bundle giveaway winner. And um, unfortunately, the Gnome that I had picked out because I didn't read it, the hat was a knit hat instead of a crochet hat, so. But that did not stop Lori at all. She found her another gnome pattern, and she got and made this snowman gnome by um, Happy Dolls Handmade. Look how cute he is. She said this was her first time working with the Katona cotton, and she really enjoyed it. So I'm really glad that you enjoyed it, Lori, and I'm so glad that you shared what you made with us because it is so cool. I just love the snowman gnome. I'm partial to the snowman, but um, also it's a good decoration to have just in winter in general because the winter months, you still make the snowman. It's not just specifically Christmas. So this snowman could say, I mean, I would leave him out all year long, but I know some people don't like to do that. They have decor, but he is super cute. Thank you. Thank you, Lori, Manga Mama, and Amanda. I really appreciate you guys sharing with us. And if anybody else wants to share, just please send me an email down below and I will show off what you guys are working on. Hey guys, so it is Monday morning. And last night when I was editing my video, I realized I forgot to do some shout outs. I had been wanting to do them all week and I couldn't wait until my podcast to do them because I was so excited about meeting these new people and I wanted to share them with you. So I, I was too tired to get back up out of the bed last night. So I thought I'll just do it when I get up this morning. It's pretty early and it's a holiday. I got up at seven o'clock, but you know, the bladder does not want to wait. But the first uh, person I want, and these are in no order. The first person I um, want to um, tell you guys about is Sarah at We Crochet Corner. It's W-E-E -E Crochet Corner. And she is just a lovely person. But she is a new crocheter like she's new to crochet and she's a new um to youtube as well so i thought um i would let you guys know about her so you guys can go and check her out um she is just she's lovely and i know she's looking just to make connections in the yarn community which you know is what we're all about is making those connections so i thought you guys would enjoy um, hanging out with Sarah. I know I sure do. I found her channel through um, Lisa at Coco's Crochet. And that's mostly how I find out about new channels is watching um, people's, like when they give shout outs and I'm like, oh, I'm going to go check them out. So check Sarah out and just go over and hang out with her a bit and show her a little bit of love. And um, the next person I want to talk about is Julia at Dooley's um, Crochet, aka Julia. So I believe she is not new to crochet, but she is new to YouTube. And um, she makes tons and tons of different stuff. Like she has a variety of things that she makes. Um, she's very interesting. Um, I just know that you guys will, um, love hanging out with Julia. I know I do. Um, yeah, go over and see all of the wonderful stuff that she's made and like what she's working on now. And I'll put links to everybody's, um, channel down below. And the last person I want to talk about is Dorothy at Mamba Dots Creations, I believe is the name of it. Um, I follow her on um, Instagram. I really like her 
Instagram. She does like Instagram reels. I really like that. Or like the, the video ones. I don't know what that's called. Um, she doesn't have a lot of YouTube stuff yet, but, um, my favorite one is her craft room. And I think, I think that she's talking about her hubby or her partner when he says he calls it Hobby Lobby. <laughs> it's so funny. I just love it. But, um, I thought you guys might enjoy hanging out with her. Um, check her out on Instagram too. Um, she's a lot of fun. Um, she's a lot of fun. I really... She's a lot of fun. She's a, a fun one. So go check out all of these ladies and see if you like them and hang out with them. I am just absolutely sure that you will. So sorry about the interruption, but we'll go back to the yesterday's part of the video. Bye. Okay, let me just look at my notes here and make sure that I've got everything. Um, I do want to mention... Um, um, let's see what one of the winners of the the stitch markers has not contacted me yet. I believe her name was Deb or Donna. Um, let's see. Yes, Deb Hanslick. Deb Hanslick, you are the winner of a set of stitch markers from my um for my pot anniversary. So just email me down below. I have checked my um spam mail and didn't have anything in there either because you know sometimes stuff just goes to your spam. You don't know why, it just does. But um give me an email and I can get these out in the mail to you. Okay guys, so upcoming what's going on well i know i think maybe it's next week that um the second round of colors are coming out for the um coco's uh, crochet along 2023 um that's hosted by coco's crochet and i'll put a link down below to her channel and to the playlist to the crochet along so that you guys can go and watch it if you're interested in it. Um, what else is upcoming? You know, nothing really. I don't have any like big crochet plans. Like I said, right now I'm just kind of going wherever the wind is taking me. Um, yeah, I'm really digging this corner to corner. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight and um, seeing all this wonderful crochet goodness that I've been into. Um, let me know down below what you guys have been working on. I'm always interested and love knowing what everybody else is making because it gives me ideas of things that I want to make too. So I'm going to go. I hear a train in the far off distance. Um, I'm going to go and get this edited so I can get it posted for you guys. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.